Hi, Karen and Michael. How are you? Hi. Hey, good. Nice Hi. background. Thank like you. Thank you. Problem. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. So I loved your scene work together, especially when you're both watching Avi work in the interrogation room. It all feels so natural and lived in. So for both of you, what did you like best about working with each other? Being in that room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you really had to like each other in order to be in that room together because it was hot and it was close and there were a whole bunch of people behind the camera that you weren't seeing. Yeah. I, I, um, I, for me, I um, I loved I loved Mike's incredible ability to ground himself in the humor that he brings to um to the character of Earl, and um and I found it inspiring. I found it humbling. I think he's a fantastic actor. I've been a fan for years, and so I was just happy to be in the same room with that guy. Yeah, like it was funny. I feel like we immediately started kind of busting balls and having fun and like and like chopping it up a little bit. Like we were like, oh, I don't know. It was just fun to like, I don't know, just kind of like try to crack each other up a little bit back there yeah, while yeah, we were like yeah. in this, you know, extremely hot metal factory turned into a job. <laughs> yeah and Jeff was saying that whenever you two were on set everybody was laughing and cracking up and the, even the directors were cracking up because you really? both have like yeah he was saying that because you're both true artists and your comic sensibilities so what were some of your favorite memories from set or from downtime for both of you huh. Jeff Wilbush he steals food he does. If you if you have a particularly delectable fruit cup just lying around waiting for you till you know till you're done your scene and you need to come for a break, it's not going to be there anymore because <laughs> Jeff Bush will have stolen it and yeah. eaten it and not known and you know and it, he doesn't do it maliciously. He just eats all the fruit he can find. Yeah, he's like a little fruit bat. He just eats fruit and it's just, it's just like constant. It's just always fruit, fruit, fruit. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's constant. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> yeah. So Don't if you want to do the grace, you can ask it. <laughs> Got it. So what was it like filming in New York, Karen? You said that you brought out your Torontonian skills of walking with a purpose and yes, never stopping. Man. Yeah. Yes, and that you felt the spirit of your mom there and because she did. worked there. Yeah. She, so yeah. For, yeah. So tell me about your memories from filming there for both of you. Um, I oh, a memory. Okay. So I loved, I loved walking. Well, I walk like a Torontonian, but also I, I loved walking around New York. I loved going into Manhattan and just heading somewhere some way on a street dipping into um into secondhand stores those are my favorite places listening to people talk and the accents and the music that happens in parks and i oh my god what an incredible spirit that city has incredible yeah it was nice to because after covid it was nice to like there you know i was like summer in new york in a in a functioning city i was like oh yes yeah, sign me up this is going to be fantastic and <laughs> And I loved walking as well. I lived in Williams. We shot we shot a lot in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. And I had lived there 20 years ago when it was oh, wow. different, when it was just starting to kind of pop. And now it's like this whole scene. And so it was kind of fascinating, kind of swimming through that, those neighborhoods again. I'm different. The, the neighborhood's different. It was kind of like going to an old college reunion or something. You kind of squint and have to look at a building a couple of times and remember kind of what things were, you know? Yeah. It was fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's never so no traffic. That's the other thing. Never no traffic. Yeah. It's always traffic when it even is that. But it's a and I think Karen saw every single play and musical that is that is in New York currently. I think you I think you saw everything. I, I saw I saw about 15 or 20 plays. Yeah, I did. I, I found I found my way to a lot of plays. And you know, and listen, what what can you say? It's Broadway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a theater actor from Toronto who was sitting in New York. I had to go to Broadway and I, I saw some amazing stuff. I saw a strange loop before it opened and was telling everybody about it. So yeah, it was, it was fantastic. I mean, I could go on and on and on, but you only have seven minutes, right? <laughs> yes. New York is amazing. <laughs> 
So what have you both seen lately on TV that you recently really loved? Um, Anything on TV? Lately on TV. Or movies, yeah. Film or TV or books. What have you really enjoyed lately? Everything, everywhere, all at once. I think if you have is amazing. And I think that kid playing Elvis is like, um, is really interesting. I've seen him with Austin Butler. Did you see this, Karen? Yeah. I haven't movie? seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. It's on I think my it's really cool. I think the, he's really, really interesting as, as Elvis. What a swing, huh? Like what a terrifying thing to say you're going to be El like who would that be? So it's like that's dynamite to touch that. But he does so good in this thing. Yeah. Um, I, 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 um, took my time to get to Abbott element elementary, just because, you know, it's the way things worked out. I finally binged it a couple of weeks ago and Lord have, and it was after Cheryl Lee Ralph, a fellow Jamaican won her Emmy. And then I watched it and I went, ah, oh, I see why. I mean, it, it, the whole thing, the whole thing is absolute perfection. And um, and I've just started Atlanta again, late, late to the party, but I am in. I I find I find it fascinating, endlessly creative, um, so incredibly smart, and you know, and just that much subversive that it, yeah, yeah, it's telling a story underneath the story. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. Have a lovely day, Karen and Michael. Thank you.